In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the perimeter of a triangle with C++. We'll use user input values for the three triangle side lengths. The first thing we'll do is declare variables to store those side lengths. We'll use type double. Because triangle side lengths could include decimal places, like for example, 7.25 or 3.2. So we'll have here, double side one is equal to zero, double side two is equal to zero, and double side three is equal to zero to declare these variables. The next thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter the three triangle side lengths, and we'll store what the user enters into these three variables. We'll have here C out and then enter side one length colon. So this here is the stream insertion operator. We're going to output this string here to the terminal to prompt the user to enter the side one length. Then we'll use C in and the stream extraction operator to store the entered side length into the side one variable. So this here is the stream extraction operator. It's going to store the double value the user enters on the terminal into the side one variable. Then we can do the same thing for side two and side three. We'll actually just copy this. We'll copy this and paste it. And this time we'll have side two and enter side two and we'll paste it again. And we'll have enter side three and we'll have side three here. Next, we can calculate the perimeter of the triangle by adding these three sides together. So we'll declare another variable of type double to store the perimeter. So we'll have double perimeter to declare the variable and we'll assign to this variable the result of adding together the three sides. We'll have here is equal to side one plus side two plus side three. So plus is the addition operator, and here, this expression is going to add together the three sides. Then the result of doing that is going to be assigned with this assignment operator to the perimeter variable. So the perimeter variable is going to store the triangle perimeter. Next, we can output that perimeter. So here we'll have C out, and we'll output perimeter colon, and then we'll output the actual perimeter value stored in the perimeter variable. Then we'll output end end line. Outputting this ENDL is going to make it so any further output from our program would appear on the next line. So we'll save compile and run the program. And for side one length, we'll enter in 2.3333. For side two length, we'll enter in 8.6666 and for the side three length we'll enter in 9.4444 and we'll get a perimeter of 20.4443 which is correct. Now one thing we may want to do is limit our perimeter output to two decimal places because maybe we only care about the first two decimal places of accuracy. To do this we can use what are called stream manipulators. We'll include the IOManip library so we can use these stream manipulators. We'll have here number sign include and IOManip. Then down here, before outputting the perimeter value, we're going to use these stream manipulators. We'll have here C out and perimeter, and then we'll have C out with fixed and then set precision and we'll have two here. So what this is going to do is limit the output to two decimal places of precision when we output perimeter here. Let's try this out. We'll save compile and run the program. We'll enter in 2.3333 and 8.6666 and 9.4444. And now we get only 20.44 as output. And our perimeter value output has been limited to two decimal digits of precision. One more thing we could do is create a function to perform the perimeter calculation. So up here, we could have 
double and then triangle perimeter to declare the function. And the function will have parameters side one and side two and side three. So this function is going to return the triangle perimeter, which is going to be of type double. And the function is going to accept three double arguments, the three triangle side lengths. So we call the parameters side one, side two, and side three. And the function itself is called triangle perimeter. We'll supply a definition of this function down here. So we'll copy this. And then down here, we'll supply a definition of the function. And all we're going to do is return the addition of the three side lengths. So we'll have here, return side one plus side two plus side three. And the idea is that now that we've defined this function, instead of repeating this expression, every time we need to calculate the perimeter of a triangle in our code, we can just call this function and supply it with the three triangle side lengths as arguments. So here we'll call the function with triangle perimeter and we'll pass it side one and then side two and side three as arguments. This function is going to calculate the perimeter and return that calculated value. And we'll store that return value into the variable perimeter. We'll save compile and run the program and we'll enter in 2.3333 and 8.4444 and 9.6666 and we'll get 20.44 again which is correct but this time we've calculated the triangle perimeter using a function so this is how we can find the perimeter of a triangle using c++ check out portfoliocourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers